Yo, what's up, guys? It's Hannah Design, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can turn this into this. So yeah, let's get into it, guys. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to GettyImages.com and whatever we want, so we wanted a picture of LeBron on the Lakers versus Curry, because <coughs> we're going to make a playoff graphic, right? And say we like this picture right here, okay? We're going to go ahead and click on this picture. We're going to go up to this link, click on it, then right click and just copy our link right here. So we'll just copy that. And we can go to this website right here. I've already done it, but I'll do it again for you guys. So this is what the website's gonna look like when you go into it, and it is called step down to or no step to down.com. It's a Getty Images downloader. So you're gonna right click, paste, get images. Okay. You see we have our image right here. Download image. Then you're here and you're gonna save image as and you're just gonna save it. Press save, it will go to your, it goes to my downloads immediately. So after we do that, guys, you're gonna go to imglarger.com and you can click select images right here. This is just gonna enhance the quality of your image. I'll show, I'll show it to you guys afterwards. Uh, so we're gonna drag and drop our image right here. You're gonna click 4X it's going to enlarge your image and you click start download so it's going to start to download and I'll show you guys when it is finished alright guys so it's done downloading next thing we're going to do is just click this green download right here take you to this screen right click save image as save it again I'm going to go back to Photoshop and I'll just drag in both of the pictures so one is before IMG large and the other is after so we'll see you'll be able to definitely tell a difference here so you can see this difference so this is before IMG larger and this is with it so you see that difference it just makes it more crisp so we're going to keep our IMG larger and the next part is going to be things you do inside of Photoshop so I will go ahead and take out through camera raw which is going to be our first thing we do so I'll show you guys the settings I like to mess with. I like to go in basic. Basic is one of the more important ones. So I like to turn up my contrast. See that right there? I like to turn down my highlights because we're going to be making our own. So we're just going to turn those down and turn up our shadows a bit. These whites, we can turn these down a bit as well. And boost up the blacks. So it's kind of like decontrasting in a way, but um, yeah, we'll just... Uh, you'll, you guys will see at the end. So we're gonna go ahead and sharpen our image. Actually, go back to basic, guys. Sorry, I forgot. Um, you're gonna boost your texture. I like to zoom in on a someone and sort of see what it looks like when we boost our texture. And then we're gonna boost our clarity. We can turn down this texture a bit. Sort of like that. Okay. Next, we'll go to detail, and we will sharpen them up. Just a little bit. We'll add some noise reduction. Just like that. So we can go ahead and see this before and after. Wow. See? Big difference right there. It's very much better. Next thing we'll do, we're just gonna go for a rough cut out here because this is out here. Just going for a insane cutout or anything. So we're just gonna make a rough one really quick. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and just leave in our background. This isn't a necessary step, but just for the tutorial's sake. So this next thing we're going to do is basically just custom highlights and shadows. It's basically bringing out these shadows a lot more. So we'll focus, we'll focus on both of them, okay? So you're going to go here, and you see this black right here. We're on our brush tool. You can see this black. So you click on the black, and where it says B, this letter B, go right here and just type in 50. Boom, okay? Next, you're just gonna paint on, completely cover both of our players here. Go to this blend mode and click overlay so you can't see it. 
Then you can see this magnifying glass tool. You're going to right click and go down to your burn tool here. And I, I like to keep it on 50 most times. And what your burn tool is going to do is it's going to bring out some shadows. Okay? So I'll tell you guys really quick. I'm going to time lapse this. But basically, every dark part, like I like to hit the tattoos, make those pop a little bit more. And then uh, on the jersey like this right here, you would want to hit that. You'd want to hit like this, all these little creases right here. You want to hit those, okay? And obviously on the legs and stuff. So we'll go ahead and time lapse it, and I uh, will see you guys when I finish. Alright guys, I've decided for this tutorial for the length safe for the length's sake, I would just be doing the LeBron on this one. But um you can see that's after the burn. We uh we did all the highlight uh, all the shadows, but next we want to do the highlights. So we're gonna right click, click this dodge tool. For the dodge tool I like to go way lower, about 17, and basically you wanna hit uh all the highlights now. So I like to hit some places even if they're not highlights, they're just sort of brighter because it's going to give it that sort of interesting animated look that is it's just sort of interesting to look at, right? And that's what you want your pieces to be uh, other than just coherent and, you know, you want them to make sense, but you want them to be interesting to look at. You want someone to be stop scrolling to look at your work. So what we're going to do is just hit all these little shiny parts down here, right? So I'm going to do that all across and I'll see you guys when I'm finished with this. Alright guys, and here's our final product. Obviously, um, in an actual piece, or, I mean, you could post this, you know what I mean? It looks good, but you may have some lighting or something. You'd have to sort of adjust it with uh, making them darker on this side, brighter on this side, or vice versa. But this is just basically the start of what I like to do for my player treatment. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this is after, and this is before. So before and after, you can see pretty big difference right there, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all go check out my Instagram. It's going to be linked in bio, but if you don't want to click that, just go to HaneyDZN on Instagram and uh, ask me any questions. You know, I love answering questions. And, uh, yeah, see you guys. Peace.